Hello and welcome. This is your makeup coaching session. I am Selena Beasley. I am your makeup coach. I help women in online business learn how to do their makeup for the camera so that they can go from looking tired and dull and washed out on camera to looking vibrant and excited and magnetically attracting their audience to their message across all their media platforms. And today we are going to be talking about all about how to create an inviting makeup vanity. And this is on the heels of a training that I did last week about makeup for mental and emotional health. And I have received some incredible feedback and uh, comments about how much that has inspired and impacted you. So I wanted to develop the thought a little bit more today, get a little bit more nuanced, a little bit more specific on how to elevate your beauty routine and create sort of a multi-sensory experience surrounding your makeup vanity. But before we do, I want to encourage you, if you have not already signed up for the next Seven Figure Image Challenge, if you have within the next 60 to 90 days an opportunity to showcase your business, your brand, and maybe you are filming your course modules or you are even batch creating your reels, you are doing a live virtual training, maybe a, a webinar or you're launching a group coaching program and you want to bring your, your A-game face then this training is for you. This is an, a three-day email training where I'm going to be sending you my best tips, tricks, and strategies to teach you how to choose your best colors for the camera and how to put together your camera-ready makeup look in 15 minutes or less. Yes, it is possible. With a special bonus, live bonus training, three camera makeup secrets to a magnetic personal brand. And live together, uh, you'll get to ask me all of your burning color and makeup questions. Just have to save your seat for the Seven Figure Image Challenge so, so you do not miss out on that. So without any further ado, let's dive into how to create an inviting makeup vanity. Most of the time, when we talk about doing our makeup, we use the phrase, I have to do my makeup. In fact, I'm sure if, if you're wearing makeup today, I would venture to say that you said, I have to go do my makeup. But what if we could transition that way of thinking to, I instead of I have to go do my makeup, <laughs> I get to do, I get to go do my makeup. How, what would that look like if we could, create that shift to go from just slapping on coverage and creams and just kind of angrily, you know, putting this, do this and got to curl this and got to swipe this and got to, you know, and instead it created an, an experience that allowed for a little bit of self care. The topic of self care is one that I am, I'm on a journey with that. That is not something that I, I relax into, I am uh, well, like most women in business, I am a doer, I'm a striver, I'm a don't sit down, the world might fall off its axis if you sit down. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm challenging myself just as much as I am uh, challenging you in this idea of uh, creating space for mental and emotional health and leveraging your makeup vanity to be able to do this in a practical way. If I keep looking over here, it's because my makeup vanity is over here. <laughs> so I wanna kinda cast a little vision for you on how to do this. So first, we wanna set the stage. You need to assign a location for your makeup vanity. Now, this does not have to be anything fancy. I have just a sideboard, a little sideboard that I got on consignment that I just, it inspired me. It's a little bit ornate. 
it's like, it's just this little kind of gold, you know, ornate piece with a mirror surface. And I was like, Ooh, that's fun. My husband will hate it, but that would be just a really fun, you know, kind of little sideboard piece. It sits on a bay window that faces out over my front yard, which is pretty uh, remote. I don't really see my neighbors, but uh, I have pollinators and um, hydrangeas planted in front of my bay window. And so it, um, so the bushes attract butterflies and, uh, and birds. And so while I'm sitting there doing my makeup, I feel like Cinderella telling you this, <laughs> like they come and they sing to me while I'm putting my makeup on. No, but it is, it's, it's a, um, scenic spot. So I encourage you that even if it is just, again, let's get simple. Even if it is just, a, I don't care if it's a TV tray, I, I don't care what it is, but even if you just set up a little corner in a in front of a scenic window in a place that, that gives you some inspiration, this is important for you to set the stage uh, to have a little ambiance, ambience, ambiance, however you want to say that. Next, let's talk a little bit about lighting. Depending on the hour of the day, so my vanity faces east. Yes, it faces east. So depending on the time of day, I get some great natural light. In fact, most of what you're seeing right now is natural light coming in from this window where I have my, where I have my vanity. And so I don't need a whole lot of lighting when it comes to, you know, I can do my makeup in natural light. Natural light really is the best lighting to do your makeup. So if you can set up your vanity in front of a brightly lit mirror, depending on the time of day that you're going to be doing your makeup, if not, you can do this in a brightly lit bathroom. That would be fine too. Otherwise, you're gonna to wanna to get your hands on a either a ring light or a vanity mirror that you can adjust the undertone of your lighting. So I'm looking at my ring light here. I have a neutral to warm skin undertone. So I am gonna dial the lighting of my ring light and I would to my makeup vanity lighting to be more neutral to warm. If I had cool undertones, it would be more of a cooler kind of bluish tone to my lighting because that is going to be the most flattering and the most accurate for me when I'm putting together my color palette. This is going to be the most true to my coloring and the most accurate for me to be able to create my color palette and see and, and blend it and see how it all fits together because lighting makes a big, big difference. So you either wanna dial in your natural lighting or you wanna have a makeup mirror that picks up your skin's undertone. If you're like, what are you talking about your skin's undertone? Your undertone either ranges cool, warm, or neutral. So you wanna dial in your undertones. And if you don't know how to do that, I have a resource for you. It's a one minute quiz that you can take. Uh, it's called the skin undertone quiz. So when you do get a, a light that gives you the option of dialing in warm or cool tones, you'll know, well, I have a warm tone, so I should go with warmer light. I have cool tones, so I should go with cooler, cooler uh, light. I mean, not to state the obvious, but you need a mirror. <laughs> you need a mirror in your vanity area. Uh, I like to use a few different kinds of mirrors. I have my, you know, my makeup mirror that just kind of you know gets my whole face. I have a magnifying mirror. I have a smaller handheld mirror so that when I'm doing a real tight eyeliner line, I want to be looking down. And so I want to be able to hold that, you know, hold that here and be able to kind of look at it from a different angle. I couldn't do that if I had like a stationary uh, mirror. Um, you want it, so you want to have, you know, different degrees of magnification. You want to be able to, you know, hold it different angles. You want to have a couple of different mirror options on your vanity. Uh, let's talk about scent 
and aromatherapy because we are creating a multi-sensory experience here. I'm not a candle person. I am, however, a diffuser person. And I am versing myself in the world of uh, essential oils in the influence of aromatherapy and learning this whole business. I'm sure many of you watching this training have, could, could run circles around me in your awareness and understanding of what of what all of this is, but I have been, um, what am I diffusing over there right now? Hinoki. Um, I do a lot of Hokrisim, 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 uh, lavender, frankincense, um, geranium. I do, uh, a lot of calming, uh, restful grounding, uh, scents in my diffuser. And today I was in a hurry and I only literally, I was walking into a meeting and I only had like five minutes and I just put a couple drops in my hand and I could still smell it in my hand. And as I was putting my makeup on, I'm smelling this scent that I know is for rejuvenation and rest. And so I was allowing that to, to encourage me and to infuse me as I was doing my makeup and as I was having my hands close to my face because how often do I do that throughout the day? I need, I am in a season, again, I'm on a journey where I need as much calming and <laughs> mood boosting uh, influence as I can get. Uh, so next, sound and music. I have a little uh, echo dot that I keep, I'm not gonna say the A word because she'll start talking back to us if I, if I say her name. But I will, um, I have music that just feeds my soul. Now I'm a singer. I don't know if, for those of you that don't know me very well, that is my background. My first career was a touring singer. And so I, singing is something that for me is very calming and soothing. It even connects me to, to my breath. It may, it forces me, you can't sing without taking a full breath. And so while I'm sitting here and I'm listening to these words, you know, truth and things that, that I believe, things that minister to me deeply and I'm hearing myself sing these, sing these words and repeat them back to myself, you don't have to be a singer <laughs> to be able to say these things and sing to even, uh, listen, I, I'm saying that this is a challenge for me because this sounds very like woo woo, but I'm telling you to take the five, 10 minutes and put on these songs and allow yourself to be encouraged and inspired and reminded of the truth of who you are and of what you believe and of your identity. And seriously, make a playlist. This can be music. This can be spoken word. This can be instrumental. This can be scripture read aloud. Um, this can be uh, your Audible account. You know, if, if you're an Audible listener and just kind of have those books going, or um, I'm really diving into podcasts right now, and and just there's certain topics that I'm like just m sit, just making myself a student, just sitting at the feet of mentors who I'm just like. I got a lot to learn. Like, let me hear it. So I'll put my little Bluetooth, you know, speaker in and I'll just be listening, you know, while I'm smelling my Hinoki essential oil, while I'm putting my makeup on. And that is, it's a moment again of taking space and yes, I'm moving and I'm moving quickly. I'm not, I'm not, this is not an hour long process. I wish it could be, but we don't have that kind of time, but to take even just five minutes for a song or, uh, or a uh, you know, blog bite and to get that in your spirit and get that in your mind to just clear the cobwebs for crying out loud um, can, can set the tone for the whole day. Okay, let's talk about uh, texture and touch real quick. I have a, a robe that I like to wear just when I'm sitting at my vanity. It is satiny and silky and I feel like, I just feel regal. 
in it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to wear it on an Instagram live. Um, but again, like that's for me. But what is that thing for you? Like the power of touch and texture. Like, is it a furry, obnoxious, furry, like ottoman that you sit in when you're sitting at your vanity? Um, or, or is it, is it a silky robe that you only wear? Is it, is it just a, a brush, a makeup brush that just feels velvety against your face? That is just, um, just a moment of like, oh, this, this just feels so good. As an act of self-compassion, uh, leveraging those tools to create this elevated beauty routine and to actually look forward to getting to put your makeup on instead of, oh, I have to put my makeup on. Let's talk about taste and refreshment. Again, we're creating a multi-sensory, we're elevating our beauty routine to create a multi-sensory uh, experience surrounding our makeup vanity. Taste and refreshment. I love to drink green tea. So when I have a little bit more time, uh, and if it's in the morning, I'll brew some tea. I will, or I'll just have my hot lemon water. Today, I'm really trying to be more conscious about my protein intake. So today I was like, okay, I'm gonna just have my protein shake because I'm in a little bit of a hurry. I'm gonna sip my protein shake while I'm doing my makeup. Um, but you know, maybe for you, you keep, maybe if you're trying to be better with taking your supplements or drinking more water, maybe you just keep a, a pretty ornate um, water jug on your vanity. And that is a reminder for you to pour yourself a glass of water, hydrate, take five minutes and hydrate. <laughs> The world is not going to implode because you sat down for five minutes and had a glass of water. And again, this is a challenge for me. I don't sit still. And I think a lot of women in business would would say, say similar, that they, they just don't do a lot of sitting. They don't do a lot of settled, just sitting and reflection and just, just being. We are human doings um, and we need to just create space, create environments for ourselves to just be human beings. And finally, uh, personalization and uh, aesthetics. What encourages you? Are you a plant lover? Um, I love plants. So I have, I have some hanging plants above my vanity and they're like, you know, trailing leaves and I love, I love nature. I love fresh flowers. So often I will have a vase of, you know, whatever's growing, um, on my vanity. And you know, that's me. I like fresh flowers. Uh, I love, um, you know, pretty print cards and affirmations. Oh my gosh. If you send me a card, it's going on the vanity. I love handwritten cards that, that might make me, you know, that might be kind of nerdy of me, but I love handwritten cards. I just, I love it. I love um, pretty script and pretty font. So I've got my, I'm going to give a shout out to my girl, Kamari Valentine. I've got her uh, affirmation cards on my windowsill that overlooks my little, you know, scenic space where my vanity is. And, you know, and I look at those and, you know, it's things like, I'm safe, you know, what do I need right now? And I can be present here. And I've created, you know, I've got, I've got a silly little kitschy, hold. This is on my makeup vanity, this silly little kitschy dollar store <laughs> cup that I use to hold my makeup brushes. It, this is stupid. But it, I like it. It doesn't matter if anybody else likes it. It does not matter if it's hideous. It doesn't matter if it's, if it is like, doesn't fit the decor in my house. It doesn't matter. Again, I got it at the dollar store. I saw it, I thought it was cute, and I thought, hmm, I'm gonna let it hold my makeup brushes. That's the point. The point is, it should reflect, it should be reflective of you. It should be a space uh, not in a high traffic area, <laughs> not where kids and dogs are running through. Um, now I'm, this is like, I'm being a total hypocrite here. It, it should not be in a space where like my mail stack is in a basket next to my vanity, which should be, that should be a no, no. I need to move it because that's stressful. When I look at my mail stack, that's a very stressful thing. 
and my vanity should be a place where it's peaceful and restful and meditative and like, oh yeah, hey, there you are. Selena, you're gonna be okay. And the world is not going to end because your meal stack is overflowing. It's gonna be okay. Um, so I encourage you, uh, in summary, set the stage, find a spot, a corner, a window, uh, something with maybe a little bit of scenery. This does not have to be, you know, you don't have to like renovate and create like a, a dressing room or anything, you know, to create uh, a little sanctuary space for yourself. Um, well lit with maybe a variety of mirrors, small, large, magnifying, um, natural lighting, warm or cool lighting, depending on your uh, skin undertone, as long as the lighting is evenly distributed across your face, this is what is priority. Consider uh, integrating some scents, maybe some aromatherapy. If you are a candle person, you do you boo. And I am, I am a, an essential oil person, just get a diffuser going uh, or put a few drops in your hands and while you're putting your makeup on, you're gonna get that aromatherapy and those fragrances into your senses and treat yourself to that. Get some sound and music going, either invest in a, a, a Bluetooth speaker or a smart device or get some headphones and maybe get some affirmations going. I have, I have, I have recorded my, my own affirmations and have made them, they are available. So if you're like, I don't have any affirmations, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what I would say to myself. I don't even know what, <laughs> uh, I have created a pre-recording of affirmations. It's my voice. If you don't mind my, my, my voice in your head, you can borrow my affirmations until you can develop your own. And I will happily send those to you so that you can even be listening through those and um, internalizing those as you're putting your makeup on. Uh, or music or scripture or um, teaching or audiobooks and just taking three, five, 10 minutes and just allowing those to kind of correct and, and realign yourself uh, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, getting some texture and touch involved, um, maybe a, a, a designated uh, robe uh, or um, a fun ottoman or chair, a comfy chair, be comfortable. We want you to be comfortable in this process. Consider some taste and refreshment, either brewing some hot tea or your favorite coffee or uh, your, your favorite drink or even I don't know if you have a if if you have if your thing is chocolate, just keep a thing of chocolates on your desk and or on your vanity and let that be your little treat. Or you just sit and it's like you know what I get to treat myself to a dark chocolate when I'm sitting here. Um, consider the personalization and the aesthetic. Pictures of your family, uh, prints, colorful prints or uh, script uh, posters, hanging plants or flowers or just. Fun. I showed you my silly little kitschy dollar store brush holder that I bought myself, uh, but personalize your space. So I will say kind of umbrella over all of this, you will have a much more sense, a deeper sense of peacefulness and mindfulness if you keep your space organized. So I have been posting organizational ideas on my blog. If you go to selenabeasley.co backslash blog, some of the more recent posts have featured some organization ideas, some um, makeup mirror uh, and lighting suggestions. And so I like to update that regularly for you so that you won't have um, any problem finding what's right for you. So make this like a little goal for yourself over the next uh, 90 days. That, so that at the end of 90 days, you'll be able to, instead of saying, I have to do my makeup, you can say, and truly mean it, I get to do my makeup because being an entrepreneur is hard. Being a woman in business is hard. Being a woman <laughs> is hard. No matter what you have going on in your world, it's hard. And to take a moment to breathe, to pause, to feel, to look at the woman in the mirror back at yourself and with wrinkles, imperfections, 
and all and be able to look at her with gratitude and be able to treat her with gratitude and be mindful uh, even for just a few moments and to work that gratitude around your makeup routine it's gonna it's it's gonna help you in in all the mindset work that you're doing it's gonna set your day on a a much more uh restful and intentional course it's, it's just such a pleasure to serve you i love being your makeup coach i love helping women in the online business um i love teaching them how to do their own makeup like a pro and i will be back with another training for you uh, for your next makeup coaching session talk to you soon bye